Hello, Path of Exile fans. This is Buff of Exile. This is my dirty mirror. This is my terrible painting. And today we, I want to talk to you about Path of Exile 2 trading. Because dev, devs in a chat with Zizarian, Zizarian, I'm spelling that correctly, hopefully, announced new changes. And those changes will affect the Path of Exile 2 and maybe even Path of Exile 1. What do we have now? In video games, in online games, which have the trading, which are almost all RPGs, right? We have to solve two problems. First of the problem is inflation, hyperinflation. Second problem are bots. And real money trading, which which cannot be truly solvable and they can be only bannable, right? So how to approach about this? You can make trading harder by disallowing the auction room and you can make searching for item harder by hiding some filters, by mm, certain things that have to be done to trade. Like in Path of Exile, currently we have that, um, that already in place. In order to trade, both parties need to be in the uh, online and both need to agree on the trade and then trade in the same time. So basically, sometimes the trade is not happening because one of the parties is inside the map and they don't want to to go to the trade and second of all sometimes people are half king and then the trade is not not possible so we are restricting the trading plus we are don't have auction room so there is no convenience for for uh, people to buy items when they are offline when the seller is offline in some other games, there are a couple of options. I remember in Metin there were tests uh, uh, with trade offers that you could only visit in the city and only and only for the, each of the sellers. So you 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 didn't even have the whole trade offers visible. In if online, for example, you have to be physically in this space when the where the trade good is currently offered. So it means that depending on the danger le the level of the danger zone, you could go for the good and be killed in the process. That was a little bit problematic there. But it it used to fight the inflation. But all those games also suffer from inflation. So what about Power, uh, Power 2? Path of Exile 2. The devs today announced that they will try to fight the bots and they will try to create an auction room. So yeah, that's good for us. The seller won't have to be online. They will force the buyer pay a fee when the buyer is purchasing an item, mostly for the items which are equipment, then the fee will be higher. And for the currency, the fee will be lower. So buyer will take the cost of buying because the seller is already taking the cost by purchasing the, the premium stash tab and uh, having the pl place in the premium stash tab. If you want to know about more about trading currently, I've already have a video on my channel which is trade full guide. So I recommend you to check it as well. So the seller won't take any any additional tax, etc. Like in, for example, in Blizzard games, the buyer will take the costs. So how does fight the bots? The currency which need to be paid for the trade will be only acquire, acquirable in the game by playing. That means that for all those bot creators, which just fuel the bots with 
bazillion divine orbs, bazillion currency, they would need to actually play the game, which for most of the creators of the bots won't be possible because it's harder to code. I'm also a software developer. I've created a couple of bots for um, for only my testing reason because I hate botting in the games in general, especially in the games I love, which is Path of Exile. And everybody who knew me in the game knows that I would crush all the bots that are there, even though some players think that they are cool because they are always there and you can always trade with them. So they are even better than regular players. No, the system is the problem, not the players. The players couldn't be forced to stop playing just to trade. This is this is a bad design. Sorry, GG, but this is this is the truth. Uh, but still, we need to we need to kill those bots because they are making your playing um, obsolete by by real money trading the currency and lowering the price of the currency. The guys who buy the currency will overcome you, will get more gear and better gear, and they will buy off the auction house for the gear you like just because they are real money trading and covered by bots. So this is also inflation friendly because bots will can generate infinite inflation just by having superior advantages over players in terms of trading. So bots are overall making your effort meaningless, making your currency meaningless. And this should not ever happen in a game. If you are playing other games like World of Warcraft, like EVE Online, like Magic Online, you know that the currency you earn should have some real value, even though the real money trading is disallowed. Why? Because it makes achievement better. If, for example, I can buy of eBay at Hunter for $20 because all the bots farmed all the currency and they are now offering it, this is a terrible situation because it means nothing. But if the trading will be limited only for playing people, oh, that means something. And I hope I, I really hope that all those payments for equipment will be high the, and that there will be no good possibility to create bots in game, that the, those bots will go try to play the game and die because they won't be able to, to compete on the higher level difficulties. And writing such a bot is a tremendous task compared to the only trading bot, which can be created only by reading the screen info from the players and using part of the, part of the software, which is called the regular expression and rejects and just answering based on what, what they get and doing automatic tasks, which are, aren't that hard to code. So yeah, that was the news I've tried to cover today. We will have, a, and so in summary, we will have auction house, we will have gold, which will be needed for the items purchased by the buyer. We won't have the direct trading and the sellers won't need to be online in order to sell, which is great, which is more like Diablo which had a good trading system minus of course the real money trading but i still like it <laughs> and yeah that's it so buff of exile out hope you had a great day hope you will have another great day and if you like this video you can sub like etc i have many other videos on my channel regarding mostly the tutorials the guides I'm openings, etc. So see you later. Bye.